translator is caught in the dilemma of the letter and the spirit. Whether he should maintain the letter or he should prefer maintaining the spirit over letter. If he concentrates too much upon trying to reproduce the original feeling and tone of the message, then he may be accused of playing loose with the substance of the document in the target language. Another problem faced by the translator is proper understanding of his own role. What his own role is. For example, he should know is translating for example, an art or a skill which can easily be acquired through practice. Those who have taken translation as an art or as a skill have failed to comply with the obvious principles and procedures which govern the functioning of translation. True fun of true translation, functioning of true translation. Similarly, they can't appreciate the linguistic, grammatical and structural sensitivity which is an indispensable ingredient in any first-rate translation. These things are sacrificed. The another important thing is that translation, translator should know also the range of subject matter. What matter is being discussed in this verse or this passage? It is morality, it is law, it is theology, it is proverb, narration, exposition, conversation. He should know. Secondly, he should comprehend the linguistic variety so that he may be able to choose the right words for right expression accordingly. Then he should have a command or good grip on historical depth related to the context of the verse, in which context these particular verses were revealed. Then he should very well know the cultural diversity of the source language and cultural diversity in which the particular verses being translated were revealed. And finally, he should know the conflicting view available in determining the meanings of implication. Conflicting views may be legal, juris, jurisprudential, may be, may be ideological, may be, may be theological, he should know. So the basic principles of translation are proper shifts of world order while translating a verse. Two, maintenance of connectivities between the worlds of a verse or the verses interconnected with a specific background or a specific subject. Three, use of phrases where necessary to trace single, to translate single words in the original. Shifts of metaphors to non-metaphors and vice versa. And careful attention to exegetical accuracy and textual variance. So the translator is bound to understand perfectly the content and intention of the text and the text sender, revealer. Translation should have a perfect and excellent knowledge of the language, the source language from which he is translating and equally sound knowledge of the language into which he is translating. The translator should employ the forms of speech in common usage to make it nicely intelligible and attractive for the reader.